Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This video is probably going to be very controversial. This video is, is probably going to be uh, hated on by some people who disagree. And I'm going to say the same thing to you after five plus years of doing this that I say every time I do a video, that's okay. You don't have to agree with me. I'm going to give you my two cents, but this is a YouTube channel, not a YouTube cult. And so... If you disagree, that doesn't mean you're wrong. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It just means we have a difference of opinion. And in 2023, it feels like if you disagree with someone, they're just evil. But that's not how I view it. I have purchased everything but the last All Father Pools vault at the time of, of recording this. I've got one more Odin to purchase, and that gives me 810,000 Deadpool bubble bubbles. So right now, I only have 218,000. But my goal, when I looked over these... After I had processed, and it's a lot to process, what was actually in the store for Paragon players, was to separate my heart from my head. And that can be difficult, especially when you have so many exciting opportunities to purchase Nexus crystals and featured six-star crystals. But something like bundle number four is not a good value, given the other things you can buy. Because the featured 6-star hero crystal is RNG dependent big time. And the 5 tier 5 basic catalyst you can get easily and cheaply in the rank up store with units. And so many people were flooded with more units after these sales. That if you need to buy rank up items in the rank up store, this is the first year you can do that. This is the first year you can go straight to the rank up store uh, and get yourself up to 11 tier 2 alpha and uh, technically 5 tier 5 basic when you buy all 10. So knowing that, you have to focus on the things that you can't buy weekly or get from gl the glory store. Uh, and that is why, first thing I'm going to do, and you can see I've got the ability to is buy my last of these bundle number one for paragon players this if this is a no-brainer because this is such a good deal and such a good price for up to 10 of both tier 6 basic and tier 3 alpha up to 10 that's incredible bundle two skip it because you can get this stuff every week from daily cards to daily calendars to Stamps for both six star shards and cav crystals, especially compared to mythic crystals. Bundle three is the first one that I'm like, man, I really need tier five class catalysts because I have drained so many of them with my rank ups already. This is the first one that I think is an honorable mention to what you should spend your Deadpool bubble babble. And that means that as I accumulate more in this month, especially with like the daily objectives. And the uh, Platinum track, I'm probably going to buy a couple of these up. Because for the price, you won't have a cheaper chance to get Tier 5 Class Catalyst Selectors. And I'm I'm just going to be in need of them, even though it looks like I, I don't. I'm, and I'm going to need to replenish some Mystic, because I'm going to bring that down to almost nothing with my next Rank 4. Bundle 5... I know it's really cheap, and, and if you if you can only afford it, it's kind of nice. But again, that's a rank up store bundle that you should ignore. Bundle six, any generic six stones, and I know you can make the argument that you get twenty five six stones from a week worth of uh, daily cards, daily uh, crystals, daily purchases, daily specials. But so many of the champions that you can acquire from this opportunity, the first time you get Hercules, for example, uh, for me, it's Korg. A lot of them are puzzle piece champions that need to be max sig. And so you get up to a five purchase limit, which if you look at it like the daily specials per day, that's five weeks worth of six stones instantly. And it's a heck of a lot of six stones if you're like me and you use them for battlegrounds. So that's a no brainer. Bundle seven, way too RNG dependent. The price is crazy. This thing is, I think, the biggest ripoff in the store. It's awful. Bundle 8, 
you can never have too many generic six-star Awakening gems. Now, if you missed it, my six-star Nexus was absolute trash. It was terrible. But I want the, the Awakening gem probably for Jessica Jones because you can't get her in a crystal. She is a trophy champ in that way. And so you want to save that primarily for new champs that you're not going to get a six-star from in a long, long time. Or champs that you won't get even in like an Abyss Nexus. Speaking of six stones, this is our also the cheapest you will see a rank three to rank four rank up gem as a Paragon player. And that's going to help you immediately with Battlegrounds, and that's going to help you immediately with just in general rank ups. So use that thing. Bundle 10, look, no guaranteed value with the seven star shards. No guaranteed value with the six star Nexus. I skip both of these, even though they're really fun. Bundle 12, which is limit 4. I'm sorry, a 5-star Relic Crystal for me is not worth this very precious uh, currency. Compare that 87000 price to this 49000 price for the guaranteed Tier 5 Class Catalyst, and it's almost double. It's just a bad value. Now this, this is a must because of this. Because this takes the place of 7,500 units for the 8.2 exploration pack if you don't buy it. And yes, this would allow me to get my third Cosmic Catalyst. And then, I don't even need to say anything about bundle number 14. If you buy nothing else, and I know it's still hundreds of dollars, and for people like my beloved Mom Bear, it's too pricey. But the six, between the 2022 Champion Selector, which almost everybody out there could use at least one champion from the pool to the rank four to five rank five generic six star rank up gym where you could target like so many people including myself hercules yeah this is again a plus 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 to infinity and beyond value those are by far the best paragon values and you do have a limited amount of currency so that is my thoughts on this i know it's a bit controversial but I stand by it. Actually, I technically sit by it. And I hope it helps some of you who are still maybe going to buy some more of these offers up figure out what to do.